Yeah, I feel uh, fine. It was uh, unfortunately it was on national television, but it's uh, I counted up and I can't remember now. It's either 17 or 18 since 1995. Uh, but it's the first time it's ever happened during a game. Normally with me, it, it is. I've been examined at uh, Lawrence Memorial Hospital. I went to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, New York. I was examined there. When I came here 13 years ago, the ENT department people examined me. And everybody says I have benign positional vertigo. And what that means is that usually it has to have, be a traumatic sudden jerking of your head or some movement of your head. And the rocks in your brain or really the inner ear uh, the little pebbles get out of the tracks and they start bouncing around off the walls and and you're very dizzy and that's that's what mine is well we had a couple of conversations the biggest thing we did different is we didn't start him you know but uh, we've had some good conversations and uh, but both of those and uh, is giving coaching too much credit he's really fighting through some stuff and I think it's what's happened honestly last game I think it re was really huge for us. I don't think people really realize how big it was for us. I mean, Boston College, they haven't won a lot of games, but we were in a pack, pack <clears throat> we were in a packed house, and we were down. Everything was going their way, and Coach Rob just told us play how we taught y'all in practice, and that was on the uh, keys of the game. Do what we do, do what we do in practice, and we did it. I mean, we got stops and we converted on the other end. We executed. And that was huge. I mean, just it just it just showed that when we do what they say, things just work out. We were definitely concerned. I mean, we don't want to ever see our coach go down like that. But at the same time, we know coach is a fighter. He's gonna do anything he can to get back out there with us. I mean, that's what he loves to do. And um, it was it was scary at first, but at the same time, what we wanted to worry about was we knew if we did our part, it'd make it a whole lot better. If we go back in the locker room and see him, and we gotta, we gotta win. So I'm glad we could do that for him. For him to just go through that, just wanting to win so bad, it really just woke everybody up. Like, come on now, we just, we gotta do this, and we had to lock in. And um, it was really a big moment, honestly, in my opinion. It just brought everybody together, and we wasn't gonna get through it without each other, everybody, the bench, uh, people on the floor, all the coaches. Fans that were there also that helped us uh, push through it. So it was a total team effort.